the lead code problem we are going to solve now is called gas station and we can see that this one is a lead code medium problem and also a very 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 well like problem uh, the statement is quite straightforward that there are n gas stations along a circular route where the amount of gas at any particular station is defined in the array gas fi and then uh, we are told that we have a car with unlimited gas tank that cost cost of i uh, gas to travel from ith station to the next i plus one station let's re do a quick recap basically we have we are given two arrays first array is called gas and second array is called cost uh, basically gas any particular value inside the gas array defines how much oil or how much gas we can fill in the tank at that particular location cost at that station defines that if we have to move to the next stop uh, what is going to be the cost in terms of gas amount so based on distance you can understand it that way now we begin our journey with an empty tank at one of the gas stations okay now we have uh, basically need to make sure that given these two arrays uh, we can start from any particular gas stations index and we need to check that if from that gas stations index are we able to travel around the entire circuit once in a clockwise di clockwise direction if that is the case then we need to return the location of that index if that is not the case we need to return minus one and we are guaranteed that uh, we would be able to find a solution so if there exists a station there has to be only one station that can fulfill that pro property otherwise it would be minus one there would not be any duplicated answers so let's try to understand this with an example uh, currently we are given a variable called gas and we are also given variable called cost uh, at any particular uh, index position this is the amount of gas we can fill in the tank but if we need to go to the next stop then this is going to be the cost associated with that and so on and so forth so let's try to see that what would be the answer in this case let's say that suppose we start our journey from index position zero which means currently our car has uh, so let's just mention that what is going to be the uh, tank uh, amount of gas in the tank okay so currently tank has empty so no no gas at all at position number one we would be able to fill in one amount of gas so currently tank has only one amount of gas now let's say that if we need to reach to next position uh, index position number one then we will have to pay this cost if we were to pay this cost it would be one minus three so basically we our tank would go in negative so we would not be able to reach to this position number two from tank number one so we can clearly say that option zero it does not work same way we can also check that from option number one currently our tank would be initially zero okay let's just repeat the calculation so this is going to be zero but now we can fill in ten, uh, plus two so now the gas would be two but if we have to get to option number three then we would have to spend four units or four liters of gas which means two minus four would become minus two once again we would not be able to reach to uh, item number four so that would also not work so let's just start our iteration from this third index position once again repeating the same logic currently tank is going to be zero but we can add tank as three so three and uh, but if we have to reach to next station we, the cost is five so three minus five once again this would also not work so now we are at po this uh, index position number three so currently our tank is going to be zero so we can add value number four so now tank has four liters of gas if we have to reach to value number five then we need to spend one liter of gas so once again this is also going to be four minus one so basically when we reach to this index position number five our tank would have three units of gas uh, once again at this position we would fill in five units of gas so this is going to be three plus five but now from this in the clockwise clockwise direction basically we will need to reach to station number one but we will have to pay cost of two so three plus five minus two so overall this is going to become uh once again six so we are going to have six units of gas when we reach to this position number one once again over here we will add one unit of gas but in order to reach to next element we will have to spend three units of gas so now when we reach to this index position number two our gas is going to be uh, six plus one minus three so seven minus three so basically this is going to be four once again from this position number two 
uh, we need to reach to position number three so four plus two minus we will have to spend the four units of gas so basically this is going to become two and at this position once again we will uh, we will we get three units of gas so two plus three minus if we have to reach to next which is from where we started then basically it's going to be five so two plus three minus five is going to become uh, zero so basically we would be able to reach to uh, unit number four and this is going to be the starting point if we were to complete the whole circuit so we'll need to return the index position so we can return three as the answer over here and i know the explanation took a lot of time to understand what this problem statement is but basically this is actually the whole solution as well because in order to solve this problem we don't need to use any special data structure or any special architecture basically if we just follow the most simple basic rule that we are going to start our iteration from the very first index and from this very first index position we are going to check that are we going in a scenario where our current tank goes negative if the current tank goes negative we can simply choose the starting point as the next element and once again if it goes negative we can choose the starting point as next element and we will keep on repeating the same process and the moment the tank goes into negative we will just update the tank value to become zero and that is the whole logic of this problem to solve this problem now let's talk about some of the critical possibilities number one scenario is the only way we are not able to complete the whole circuit is a very simple logic that is that if the given gas is going to be less than the total number of cost if that is the case cost is higher so we would not be able to complete the full circuit 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 and we can calculate this immediately basically by summing up all the values that are currently present in both gas and cost arrays and we can just compare those values so if that is the case we can simply return minus one immediately saying that this problem cannot be solved if that is not the case then we will simply follow the most common most logical thing that humans are really good at and that is called greedy approach that we are simply going to take the first value try the solution if solution works great if we at any given moment find the tank goes into negative then we will just pick the next value so over here for the same problem i have just presented it in a different manner currently we have our index position stored inside so 0 1 2 3 and 4 now this second circle defines that how may how much amount of gas can we get at any particular location and the values located at these gates define that if we have to jump from gate number one to gate number two then we will have to spend three units of gas and which we can sub subtract so basically the solution is that we will start uh, our greedy approach by iterating at value number one with initially the tank is going to be zero and then we will just repeat the same exercise we did so we will check okay over here we can add one unit of tank but this is going to be three units of tank to reach to value number two so tank would go into negative so basically we would choose our starting point over here uh, by resetting the tank to be zero once again two and this is four so tank goes into negative so once again we would choose our starting value to be index position number two once again tank goes into negative so once again we would choose our starting index to be this the moment we find a starting index Index that where the tank does not go negative we would try to iterate over and see if we are able to complete the whole journey or whole transaction and basically we should be able to do it in this case because we know that we have a starting point where the tank does not go negative from to when we start iterating and secondly uh, the total cost of basically um, total cost is basically uh, not less not greater than uh, the total number of gas so that's why we know that the answer should not be minus one and uh, just that's it so in this case we would return three as the answer if we have to calculate time and space complexity it is quite straightforward for time complexity basically this can be done in big of n time if we apply the greedy approach and we do some slight tweaks with the code so the tweaks with the code i'm going to explain you when we get when we actually get to the coding portion and for the space complexity well we are not using any additional space to solve this problem so basically this is going to be big of one so which is quite beautiful now let's just quickly see the coding solution so the solution is quite straightforward first we are going to have a few variables uh, they are going to be initialized as zero. First one is total gas and total cost both are initialized at zero then we have tank and then we have starting index then we are going to have a simple for loop that is it going to iterate over every single starting point in the given input 
we are going to have two variables total gas and total cost that is going to be continuously adding the total amount of gas and total amount of cost we have for the current proportion of gas that can live inside the tank is going to be calculated by adding the current gas with the current tank value and reducing or removing the cost of the current ith position then we are checking for a simple condition that if the tank goes into negative then the starting index that was originally at zero now needs to be at i plus one position because we identify that the current ith position does not work and then the current value of the total amount of gas inside the tank is also going to be zero then we are going to check at if at any given moment the total amount of gas becomes less than the total amount of uh, cost after the running of whole for loop then if that is the case we can simply return minus one and if that is not the case we simply return the starting index and this is the whole solution let's try to run the code okay seems like our solution is working beautifully let's submit this code And our code beats 99.29% of all the other solutions which is exceptionally fast so pretty good and once again I would be posting this solution in our github repository so feel free to go ahead and check it out from there thank you.